Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I am in my DVR client software and I just wanted to show you how to download um, some footage, okay, and have it automatically converted. Okay, so first you've got to log into your um, cameras and when you've done that you can press on control. Now all of these, um, this software is different but I have noticed that when you're logged in you get different control options from the software. Um, now if you haven't got good software that lets you download from your computer then I suggest you look for something else. Now um, I just go to the control section here and then download and then it's you get to choose channels um, I've got eight channels right so just uh, choose channel one and start time um, which is the date and then the time and then the end time and it'll search now what I've got here is on the 22nd which is today and it's got 12 a.m. so just say we go uh, 6 a.m. okay 6 a.m. to we'll go a.m. again because we don't want to get too much footage and we'll just go um, 7 so we've got 7.59 so it's nearly two hours worth of footage so we'll just press search and it comes up with it straight away. Now that is only on camera one and um, it's got the times in here so you can really pick out which time. We've got 6.44, um, yeah all different times in there but look for the big file, have a look at this and it is 6.17 to 6.32 okay there's a big file there big file there. Um, sometimes it comes up in big chunks, sometimes it doesn't. So we've got 658 to 737. So you just, you can take like a couple of these if you want to. Um, just take one for an example and it says you can download the LVF file down here or you can download and convert to AVI. Okay? Now that's it. There's the one button. Now I did it and I'm like, oh my God, where is this file? I searched for it and I couldn't even find it. So it did it though. It automatically changed it to AVI, which was fantastic. So all I have to do is press that button. Okay, so that's fine. So we know how to do that. But if you go to setup, it's got a downloading section here download setting. Now yours might be different so go and look around for downloading setting and the directory. Now little did I know that it was going to uh, D drive on my computer uh, which I don't even use so yeah uh, that's why I couldn't find it and um, you can change that directory if you like and um, then you'll know where the files are actually getting downloaded to. Alright, thanks for watching.